Okay, in this video I'm going to show you um, the reason why when we multiply or divide an inequality by a negative number we change the direction of the sign. So I'm going to show you just with a numerical example here what happens when we uh, multiply, divide, add and subtract by a range of different numbers. So I have here an uh, inequality that is true. 5 is greater than 2. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply everything here by 4. That'll give me 20 is greater than 8, which is true. Okay, this time I'm going to divide everything by 2. That's going to give me 10 is greater than 4. That is true. Next I'm going to add. I'm going to add 5. So that gives 15 greater than 9, which is true. And lastly I'm going to subtract. So let's uh, subtract 3 and that gives 12 is greater than 6, which is true. So, so you'll notice here that I've multiplied, divided, added, subtracted and every time my inequality has remained true. Now I'm going to try and multiply by a negative number. So let's multiply by minus 2. That'll give me minus 24 greater than minus 12, which is false. Minus 24 is not greater than minus 12. Minus 12 is greater than minus 4. If you look at it on the number line, minus 12 is further to the right than minus 24 is, and bigger numbers are further right. So we need to change the direction of this sign to make it true. Minus 24 is less than minus 12. Now it's true. So this example here shows when we multiply by a negative number, we need to change the direction of the inequality sign. Next I'm going to divide by a negative number. So I'm going to divide by minus 2. If I divide by minus 2, minus 24 divided by minus 2 is 12. Less than minus 12 divided by minus 2 is 6. 12 less than 6 is false. Again, when I've divided by a negative number, I need to change the direction of the inequality sign. So I get 12 is greater than 6, which is true. So this little example here shows uh, that when we're dealing with inequalities and we multiply or divide by a negative number, that we must change the direction of the inequality sign, like we did in these two lines here. This is the same for any inequality, uh, even when we're dealing with unknown numbers. Okay, if you have any questions, uh, please ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.